hey guys i hope you guys are doing great so today in this video i'm going to show you how to install if ng on a virtual machine so basically i hope you all know about the product what product is so it is basically a network simulator similar to gns3 where you can practice your ccna ccnp cci labs which uh, which are like routing switching voice or maybe security as well so it is a great tool i would say because it supports multi vendor so when i say multi vendor that means it supports juniper it supports cisco it supports microtik and whatnot so there are two currently there are two uh, flavors in the um, evng which is a community version community version is basically a free version where you can host up to 63 devices when i say host up to that means you can configure 63 nodes in evng and the another flavor i'm talking about is a pro version and the pro version where you can install more than or i would say like where you can configure more than 1000 nodes in the pro so in this video we are going to install evng uh community version so let me show you about the prerequisites of evng so if you see this is the website where i have written an article already you can follow or make use of this website and which will help you to you know can uh, download the files required files so the first and the foremost is you there are two ways of basically installing evng one is the like you can download the iso file or you can download the ov file so in case of iso file you have to define the virtual machine configuration manually whereas in case of ov file the configuration comes by default so you just have to import the virtual machine so the next thing uh, i mean this file you can download it from uh, evng official website so the next thing is iou keygen so which is uh, something you need to upload it on the evng uh, linux folder next is iou urc this is again you have to upload it on the folder this contains the license information and the last is i for the testing purpose what i've done is like uh, i have downloaded uh, this particular file which is an ios ios file which is uh, which i'll be creating a router so that uh, this router can take this iso file uh, ios file and can boot up so i'll be using a uh, one router and connecting it to the physical machine so which you can again download it from this particular links given so let's create a virtual machine first so first you need to go to file and then virtual machine so here i'm going to select typical which is by default and then here i'll leave it as default i'll select or i'll i'll install the operating system later and then in guest operating system i'll click on linux and version is ubuntu 64 bit click on next and then i'll give a file name yeah so you can give any file name whatever you wish to and then i'll click on next and then i'll select the sizes let's say 80 gb now before i click on finish i want to customize something on this particular virtual machine i'll click on hardware so first and the foremost thing is i'll change the memory to 8 gb which is recommended by evng and then processor to four processor and then check box this particular item virtualize intel vt so this is a mandatory thing and then on the network adapter i'm going to select my physical virtual machine adapter and then i'll also select the iuso file which i have downloaded from the website come here and select this event iuso file click on finish and then what you need to do is you need to power off the virtual machine <clears throat> so first it is asking you for the language so what i'll do is i'll click on english and then it is asking you whether you want to install evng vm or a bare metal i'll select vm so the complete process takes almost 10 to 15 minutes depending on your internet connection so it is asking for the language again i'll select english and then it is asking you which territory you belong to i'll select india and then it will process something on the background so that necessary information can be gathered like for example hardware details clock time zone etc
while recording this video i'll sometimes put myself on mute so that you don't hear any background noise in between So it is asking for the host name at this moment. So I'll put it as it is. Uh, you may want, you can change your host name as per your requirement. I'll click on continue. It is setting up the clock. So it should give me Asia Kolkata. And that's true. It has given me Asia Kolkata as a clock time zone. So I'll click on yes, because this is correct. So on the back and it will try to format the partition it will try to customize the partition it will try to install the system whatnot So it is asking me whether if I want to connect to the outside world, do I need a proxy? Uh, since uh, I have my physical connectivity of internet connection connecting to my system, so I don't need a proxy. So basically, um, I'll click on continue. So right now, at this moment, what I'm going to do is uh, it is asking me, how do you manage up? How do you want to manage upgrade on the system? I'll cl click on install security updates automatically. Now it will try to install the software, necessary software. And also after this installation, it will try to upgrade the software as well by downloading some files. So at this moment, what I'm going to do is it is asking me to remove the CD DVD drive, but I'm not going to do that. So because I faced some issues while after removing the CD DVD drive. So I'll let it be connected and then I'll click on continue to reboot the system. I'll click on enter. Now what it will do is it will download necessary software from the website and upgrade the device so it may take some time so i'll put on mute myself
hey guys welcome back so uh, the installation is completed so basic configuration needs to be done at this moment is like uh, so what i'll do is i'll log in as root and the password is eve for this particular account so by default it the password is eve so it is asking me to type a root password so i'll keep it as eve repeat the password as eve again and it is asking me to put a host name so i'll keep it as default it is asking me for, to put a domain name maybe i'll put musicalabbing.com and now it is asking me to put a dscp or static so i don't want the server to be dscp i'll keep it a static one so it is asking me to put the management ip address so i'll put the management ip address as 60 so this is the address this is the ip address which will be used for accessing this web interface of this particular device or ssh in this particular device click on ok subnet mask so i'll put this subnet mask default gateway i'll put the default gateway then the dns server secondary dns server and then the ntp server i don't need this so i'll click on ok it is asking me how vm can connect to the internet i'll click on direct connection because we don't we are not using any sort of proxy click on okay so now the device will reboot and then after that we will we should be good to use this device but we have to do some basic configuration and upload some files before even we can configure the router or anything on this device So yes, so the link is up. So you see, we are able to uh, see this uh, IP address uh, is already seen in this interface, like use HTTP 192.168.1.60. So what I will do is first I'll launch FileZilla and upload necessary files. So if you follow this article here, it'll tell you like what all uh, things you need to do. So you see here, uploading necessary files. So here you have to launch FileZilla or any sort of FTP application and enter the IP address of ifng and then enter the username, password and the port number. And you have to navigate to this particular folder and upload these three files, which you have downloaded from the link which was given in this website. So let's open FileZilla. So I'm going to put the IP address 1.60, username is root, and the password is eve, port number 22. So let's navigate to this particular folder from here. So the folder is this. So I'm into this folder. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to upload the files. So I've already downloaded the files and kept it in a folder. Now I'm going to select all and drag it in this particular folder. So if you see the files are being copied at this moment. So while the files are being copied, we have to do one more thing is uh, modifying the permission on this EVNG folder. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to launch putty and enter the IP address. So the reason I'm using putty is so that I can just copy and paste the command. But in VMware CLI, you will not be able to copy and paste the command just like that. You have to manually type the command. So what I'll do is I'll come here and I'll copy this particular line till permission. And I'll click paste it and we are done so we have not encountered any sort of error so i'll click on exit from here and let's see yeah files are also copied so let's see and use if we are able to access uh, this url so the page is open so i'll put the username as admin which is default and password is eve so we are able to see on the dashboard over here and now what i'll do is i'll create a new lab so the lab name i'll enter is uc collabing if you want to put some description task version author you can go ahead and put it i'll click on save now if you see here the this is now right now coming with a blank topology i'll click on node 
then I'll go down I'll click on Cisco IOL and then it is asking me to add how many nodes you want to add uh, we are just going to add one router only so I'm gonna put it as one if you have multiple images you can uh, drag and drop from this image and you can select that but since we have uploaded only one so we are selecting only one if you want to put any name prefix of the device you can go ahead and put it else it will become just R and then one RAM if you want to modify in case how many Ethernets if you want to add let's say if you want to add two Ethernets you can go ahead and put it serial if you want to edit startup configuration delay we don't want to change it I'll click on save so this router is ready so what I need to do is like I need to add a network so that I can connect it to my physical machine so I'll click on management cloud click on save so what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on this particular link and drag it till this router and I'll add connection between them so what I'll do is I'll click on start so this router will be started so there are two ways to access this either you can access it through putty or you can click on this particular uh, router and it will give you an option to open SSH telnet and our login please note guys this does not come by default basically uh, you have to install one application from EVNG so which will help you to you know give this feature so click on download so what you need to do is you need to download the Windows integration pack so once you download and install this integration pack then you will get this option to you know when you click on this router you should be able to get this option to open the application so if you see I've just clicked on open and a router console has opened so you see the router is uh, already booted it is asking me if you want to enter the initial configuration I'll click say no now I want to show you like if you see I want to ping this I'll uh, configure this router with 192.168.1.62 right now if you see the router is not accessible because I have not configured the interface so let's configure the interface now So this is the interface. So I'll do a no shut. So let's see if the ping response starts coming in. You see? So from my physical machine, the ping response has started coming in. So in this way, we can integrate most of the applications uh, physically uh, to from our physical machine to the Eve topology and we can make use of uh, this application and it is really great. So if you also see here what sort of nodes you can add, you see uh, you can get Aruba, you can get Barcuda, you can get Checkpoint, you can get all Cisco like Call Manager, Expressway, then iOS, then Meeting Server, UCC, Simon Presence, Unity Express, Switch, even Fortinet, and then Juniper, and then the Linux, and then Palo Alto, Riverbird, VMware, XXI, BIOS, and then Windows, Windows Server. So I hope this uh, tool is great and we can make use of this tool to do our labbing and let me know your comments how you are using this tool and what are the good things you have learned about this tool. I hope this video has been informative for you. Thank you for watching.